Hi, uh, welcome to Orca Electrical Channel. Uh, today I will show you how to add an outlet uh, over here. Uh, this is uh, the laundry part of this house. They want to put a laundry here. So uh, there is no outlet where to plug uh, that uh, laundry mat. So we will add one outlet here for to, where to plug the uh, laundry. So uh, we have been looking, we are in the basement here. So let's come to the panel and see where we're gonna take that outlet because we're gonna need a 20 amp uh, outlet over there. So as you can see, there's a solar panel here that is full and uh, there's uh, the solar uh, connection here. And uh, the main panel here is completely uh, full too. There's no space. Uh, we can like remove one of these breakers maybe and put a twin breaker but as you can see most of them are uh, like uh, arc fault breakers or GFCI uh, breakers so uh, only there is one here that uh, we can remove and uh, uh, put a twin breaker okay that's a 20 amp breaker right there uh, regular 20 amp break, uh, breaker uh, square D but uh, uh, as I'm looking I can see a one GFCI outlet here that is uh, mm, here uh, it's not be, it's not being used all the time so uh, I'm thinking like about to take uh, the power from this GFCI uh, to that location over there uh, because uh, this one will protect uh, that outlet, uh, you know, so yeah, it's easier and uh, uh, we will do that. Okay, now uh, first we gotta turn off uh, the power to this uh, outlet here, to the GFCI outlet here. This is the breaker for that outlet. As you can see, there's no, uh, the green light is not on anymore. And then uh, we take a uh, outlet off the box and then we put a knockout for the cable that's gonna run from here uh, to the new outlet Just to make sure that uh, the power is off, we got to use uh, this tester right here. Okay, as you can see, the power is off to the outlet here. So now we got to um, knock out the box here and uh, put a connector for the cable and run the cable from here to the uh, next location. Okay, now to do this project, we're gonna be using an old uh, box, okay, an old work box that we're gonna put on the wall over there, and we're gonna uh, put it and uh, use the 12 2 American wire gauge um, cable and this. Leave it on a uh, 20 amp outlet right here. Okay, so let's run the wire from the box here to the uh, laundry location and then put off uh, the old work box here. Okay, and then we'll do the connection. Okay. Okay, now to use all this, uh, to use these old work boxes, we got to find out that there's no stud on the way and put it uh, this, this side and uh, make it uh, level, make sure it's level. Okay.
Yeah, right there. So the height here doesn't matter that much too much, but we, we put it on the same height of the the water for the washer. So now it's level. Let's check up one more time. Make sure. Yes, we got the box level. So trace the size. This is the bottom and on the side. Okay, so now we just finish. Okay, so we use the hand. Okay. okay, now we're ready to put the box up and because we have the cable here after we finish to cut the hole now uh, to do that we have a I'm the first and the cabinet. Mm -hmm. You're so six inches out of the box. That's enough. Okay, make sure these rings are laying down and fine and push. Push it inside, make sure it's level. And now we got to screw up these screws here. Then these the wings back there gonna pull and catch the sheet rack in the back. Make it tight to hold the box up the wall. tight you will feel it it's tight so now we will peel the cable we peel the cable using the utility knife here This cable is rated for 20 amp, I say 12 American wire gauge. Okay. So now now we're gonna strip the cables. Get them ready for hookup. We are ready to put uh, our outlet up. I suggest all the time when you're doing this kind of job to start the wiring at the end of the uh, the the project like we are putting up this outlet today let's do the wiring for the finish the wiring to the outlet before we go back to do the connections in the panel or because today we are connecting it in a, a gfci outlet box over there before we go to connect it onto the gfci outlet so we gotta finish completely the end of the circuit wiring the end of the circuit before we go back do the hookup in the panel you know 
okay so this outlet here is uh he got he got to uh, the back wiring so what that mean is uh, instead of making a hook on the wire here to go around the knot we just got to put uh this the wire here because this is the short leg that's the heart where the heart got to come so we just got to put the wire under a plate that is under the screw here and screw it up you can see it is under the under a plate so that plate will press on the okay the the, the thing is too long here we gotta cut it a little bit okay Let me open it again so the wire can go inside nice okay okay so because we're not using this uh terminal here we screw it back okay so now the neutral we do the same thing okay we do the same thing so we do the same thing for the neutral too this is a bit too long okay that's there you go Okay, we're now using this terminal. We screw it down. Okay, for the for the ground wire, we still need to make a hook like this clockwise and put it on screw here. Okay, hold it tight. Screw it up. Okay, so as this uh, is a plastic uh, box, we don't need to put uh, no tape around. No? So we just gonna put it, divide, push it, pull down, pull it up, and push it in. All right. So let's pull back these screws first. Put them on the way. Out of the way. As you can see we started with the screwdriver to make sure the bolts are so now we're gonna use the drill to go and I always like to finish with the screwdriver 
plus because with the drill you can go and you know cannot hold it like this make sure it's uh, high levels yes we can still use the level to make sure that so we gotta hold it a little bit Okay, so I can hold it here and tie it. So right here. Show the level. Good. Okay. Okay, now we have uh, uh, bring the wire in the GFCI uh, outlet box here. We have tightened the, uh, the cable with the BX clamp here. Okay, have very tight and holding good. Now the cable, the cable is ready to connect to the GFCI outlet here to protect the the new outlet we put over there for the laundry. Now uh, to do that, uh, you, as you can see, the GFCI have a in and out, okay? So the line and the load. So this is the line where the power coming from, and this is the load going out to protect uh, other uh, outlets, okay? Or other uh, things. So now uh, to connect this, wire on this outlet we got to remove this uh, tape right here this yellow tape you take it out when you got to use the load side of the gfci okay so we remove it okay so we got uh the terminals freed now so we bring the heart to the hard side the neutral to the neutral side then we connect the grounds together so now okay and this gfci outlet right here it got uh, the back uh, connect here so just need to open terminal okay the terminal open okay push the wire in push the wire in okay as you when you tighten the plate pull out and you know press on the cable here and hold it up there's one plate inside that's as soon as you screw this screw here come out and press on the cable you see not coming out no more the connection is good and do the same thing over here the neutral side okay so that the neutral Okay, see, now coming out. So now it's time to connect the grounds together. So to do that, we have to put the incoming ground with the wire that going to the next outlet and the ground for this uh, GFCI outlet here together. So we have three wires together and to put them together you gotta use a wire nut okay just 
make sure all the wires are getting okay twist very nice and we got a good connection okay so we got a good connection so now put it in position okay push it into the box very nice and this okay ready to push everything in now very nice okay time to put back the screws Tied in completely till you engage next screw. Okay, now you get can tighten everything completely. okay now before you turn on the power to this outlet to get power to the next outlet we need uh, and put the cover to the next outlet we need to verify our our circuit how we do that we gotta use the multimeter and check continuity if there is no short between the heart and uh, the neutral or the heart and the ground let's do that okay even even though you are sure of your wiring uh do no mistake okay just take a few uh, minutes maybe two three minutes to do it just put the multimeter onto ring and check for continuity okay the leads are good okay and go between the, uh, always go come to the end of the circuit to do this uh verification okay go between the the heart and the neutral side okay no ring so that means there's no shot between the heart and the neutral okay and now go between the heart and the ground right here okay no ring okay so let's because the, uh, the the neutral is tied to the ground in the main panel normally if we go between the neutral and the ground we're gonna get a ring and let's see about that okay yes we got it all right okay all right now our outlet is up levels okay now we it connect it to the uh, gfci outlet the other side so now uh, let's test uh, if it's working okay first uh, we test we have this handy uh, tester right here let's turn it on okay all right as you can see we have now zero zero okay now let's go ahead and see okay it shows correct right can you read that okay correct wiring okay we have the green light on 123 volt ac okay so now it's time to plug this light here and see uh, what's gonna happen okay working okay the next one is working too okay as you can see again green light correct wiring 123 volt ac all right all right thank you so much for watching everyone and leave your comments and just please subscribe